Hey what's up guys, this is Shasha Tutam and I am now back with my new series which is about Bluestacks. You might have probably heard of that, this is software to play Android apps and games on your PC. I will be covering all uh, the tutorials on Bluestacks in this series and uh, our first video is about the installation of the latest version of Bluestacks which comes with Android 4.4.2 KitKat. So let's begin the installation. So we have this file which you can download from the link in the description and uh, we can see the property is 194 MB in size. Let's begin the installation by double clicking on it. We see a Windows installer which is preparing it to install and we have to accept the license agreement and the next and then next install. It is uh, preparing for install. And uh, then these are its formal procedures which it has to complete. You can see the status. This uh, BlueStacks version comes with Android 4.4.2 KitKat. The earlier versions used to come with uh, the first version was uh, uh, 2.3 Gingerbread and then with ICS and then from ISIS it's straight jump to KitKat. Now it's copying files which would take a bit of time as uh, after installation it uh, gets about uh, 800 MB large. This is a quite decent player if you want to uh, run apps like WhatsApp and uh, other social networking apps it is also great for a few games uh, and uh, the performance depends upon the configuration of your computer it can run uh, higher games on higher spec PCs if you have a good graphic card but you have if you have don't you can play casual games. I have uh, an onboard Intel HD graphics card which lets me play average size games like that of 1GB games can be played easily and uh, I think we are towards the end of the installation or uh, it might take some more time uh, it has been installed and uh, it is the initializing window of the BlueStacks which you continues for, uh, for a long time for the first when you run it first uh, then till then let's see the folder in which BlueStacks keeps its files that are its SD card and internal storage and all other apps let's go to C drive and uh, their program data and there is the BlueStacks folder here it keeps its settings and SD card and all other things now it is loaded and you can run your apps from here and we can move to all apps and here is the BlueStacks settings and Swift SD camera. Let's move on to settings. You can see a bunch of settings and uh, by clicking on advanced settings you can go to Android settings. There are not uh, quite a lot of options here but uh, as it is edited by the BlueStacks. Let's go back. This interface as you can see is not quite good so I don't recommend it. I recommend uh, to install another browser. Let's quickly move to a launcher I have already downloaded. You can download it from the link in the description. It is a Nova launcher. It is installing APK. You can install all APKs by just double clicking on them after being the BlueStacks has installed. And you can see that this is quite a good interface as you normally see on phones and tablets. 
and uh, the settings button directly takes us to the settings and other options like downloads This is now a smooth and uh, easy interface. So that was a quick tutorial on how to install BlueStacks on your PC. Be sure to leave any comments or any queries about uh, your installation uh, and I will answer those comments as soon as I can. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel for the new videos. I will be covering the second video of the BlueStacks series soon. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.